All right. Now, you know, this was downplayed. We even downplayed it a little, but apparently it was a little more important than maybe we first thought. It, it certainly wasn't the major factor while Silicon Valley Bank uh, collapsed. But they, um, as we told you yesterday, the reports are that all but one member of their board of directors were just, you know, political woke donors. Um, they had no... Uh, they didn't have it was a compliance officer or some 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 they didn't have key positions filled. I mean, the bank was under poor management from the board uh, to the paid staff. And it's because they they decided that climate and woke and diversity and equity and inclusion was more important than making good investment decisions on behalf of their depositors, on behalf of their stakeholders. Uh, they, they ignored the obvious risks that were going on out there as interest rates started to rise after they'd invested in low interest rates bonds. They they just ignored it all and just hoped that things will work out. Well, that that's, doesn't work. You know, diversity, equity, inclusion does not work when it comes to investing pension funds, when it comes to investing uh, depositor funds, if you're a bank manager. Um, it just doesn't work. The woke philosophy won't work. That was our theme a few days ago. Won't, 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 won't work. And uh, and while it wasn't the main reason that bank failed, it had a lot to do with market conditions. But the point being, if you had savvy board members, savvy staff, you could have navigated the tumultuous market conditions that were created by all this spending and lockdowns and inflation and everything else that was been caused by or exacerbated because it was initially caused by Trump but exacerbated by the Biden administration but when you when you have diversity equity inclusion people first instead of talented people first this is the disaster that can happen and and you got to wonder you know you know you know what I call them I call them political supremacists these people just think they know best because they care more because they're diversity equity and inclusive uh, that means they're smarter and better and know best for everybody else you know have they gone too far again you know we J Joe Biden it's in court now but Joe Biden wants wants everyday people to bail out you know rich kids from their student loans now they want everyday Americans to bail out these rich woke investors um for for their funds uh and remember all the blame as we said yesterday all the blame doesn't just go on the bank the depositors should have seen it coming they have some responsibility in this too if you know that your bank has gone fully woke and and all they're talking about is how they're supporting climate change and dei you might want to get your crap out of there right you might want to do that so there's a little responsibility on the depositor side too